Today we've got a bit of an unboxing. I have here a box from the futurewas8bit.com. Um, it's got something nice in it. It's big, it's yellow, it's blue, and let's see what's inside. Open it up. We've got SD to pet user guide and New Royce. We don't want to see that. Okay, well, the ST to pet user guide might give us a clue what's in here. Oh, packing peanuts. Packing peanuts means a slurp of coffee. Mm. It's only coffee ordinaire. Right. Okay, we have a jiffy bag. We have something in bubble wrap. We have another Jiffy bag. And another Jiffy bag. Uh, let's just chuck these out. Peanuts! We can clean those up later. Right. So, you can now see what we've got. Time Mouth Mini Pet 4080. This is exciting. Right. It consists of a lot of blue tape. Oh, writing on the back. One megahertz, 6502 8-bit microprocessor. 32K RAM, 28K ROM. Mini Pet Basic 4.1, 4.0, Basic 2 and Basic 1. 1K or 2K video RAM, 40 by 25 or 80 by 25 text display. IEEE 488 interface for SD to PET. Two data set ports, user port. Built-in DOS wedge and file browser, single 9 volt supply with soft power on. 77 individual key switches, PAL NTSC composite video. That's good because we can display that. Pet 9 inch, 12 inch CGA MDA RGBI monitor. And a one bit sounder. Deep. Ah, more coffee. You can never have too much coffee. Right. I think we have to break into this. Oh, look at that. Tone Mouth Mini Pet 4080. 
we have got standoffs uh, clear switch covers white switch covers a pack of bits resistors and capacitors and connectors and stuff a big box of switches that is going to be our keyboard let's open it up and have a look nice it's basically a white PCB with holes cut in it let's keep it in there for now that's going to be I don't need to open that that's going to be the back of the keyboard And in here we have chips and sockets. These all look like they are laid out in exactly the same order. Oh, this is the, the circuit board. And the penultimate pen. That's good. So this is the circuit board, I've taken it too much there. And we've got main board layout on the top. Let's bring this out. Main board layout on the top, keyboard on the bottom. And here, the chips and sockets all appear to be in exactly the same order. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, lit, 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 and so on. They all appear to be in exactly the same order as they go onto the board. So that is very, very helpful. This is a nicely produced board. I do like that. It's so whitely painted that sadly you can't see the traces on it. And I do kind of like seeing the traces on a circuit board. But never mind, you can't have everything I suppose. Sheet of paper. And that is the keyboard overlay. Now, I suspect we might have to cut those out and fit them into the keyboard. But I'm sure we'll find the instructions. This is going to be plexiglass. Perspex, if you're English. Is that it? Piece of paper in there, so that appears to be it for the main box. Let's see what we have in the other bits. Wait.com power supply DC 9 volts 1.5 amps. Oh, center negative. So we've got to be aware of that and be careful with that. 
because a lot of power supplies are centre positive and so we must not get them mixed up. Not sure what's in that. Oh, okay, that's adapters for different different varieties of mains. So we've got US style, European style, British style, no Australian style. I'm sorry Aussies, you appear to be left out. Normally it's the same as the American but with the prongs bent at an angle. Okay, that's that sorted. You don't need those. And that can go back in the box for now. This is the SD to pet. So, like the SD to IEC that we've seen previously, this takes an SD card, plugs into the user port for the five, um, sorry, the cassette port for the five volts. Now we've got two cassette ports, so that means that we've still got um, the ability to play tapes and the I SD card goes into there okay that's that's cool that's an IEEE 488 version hopefully we'll have some pet software Soon, in order to take advantage of that. This is like Christmas. Mini Pet 4080. Oh, and a pink windmill colouring book. That's it. More copies of that. And the colouring in book. Look at that. It's Rod Hull and Emu. If you don't know who Rod Hull and Emu is, then you're probably not British. And there's an SD to YEC, look at that. Kung Fu Flash, he's got all the products in here.
Merry Christmas. That will be coloured in. I'm not going to tell you where it will be coloured in, but that will be coloured in. Mini Pet 4080. This is a very nicely made manual. Assembly instructions. Label options. The kit contains alternate versions of some labels for pixel accuracy, color or function options. Okay, the accurate to the pet 2001, which incorrectly shows the starting pixel for each character. I see. So they are correctly wrong. I never used a PET 2001. When I was at college we had um, 3032s. Which ran, I think it was basic 3. That was my first introduction to what I would call a proper computer. By which I mean something that you didn't send off a program in, in a lump of punch tape or a stack of cards and then wait a week for, for an answer. I'm not going to tell you how old I was then because that will tell you how old I am now. And I'm not as old as that. I'm going to enjoy this. I, I can tell. And that's that's done in the style of um, the Vic manuals and the C64 manuals and probably the PET manuals, but I never saw an actual original PET manual. Okay, and we have one final package to open. And we have Perspex floppy disk, HD floppy disk, so that's useless for a Commodore, because as we know they did not use HD disks. Balloons, the future was 8-bit balloon. That. The future was eight bit. <laughs> you knew that was coming, didn't you? Right. And what's in here? Pet Mini Pet 40 Column 32K 3D Monster Maze. Roll up, roll up, see the amazing Tyrannosaurus Rex. King of the dinosaurs in his lair, perfectly preserved in silicon since prehistoric times. He is brought to you for your entertainment and exhilaration if you dare enter his lair. Rex lies in wait. And it's a cassette. Copyright 2021. It's entirely up to date. Nothing on the inside of the inlay card. Okay. Original game created by Malcolm Evans, 1981. P 
Pet Remake by Dave Curran, 2021. Okay. In order to give that a try, we are going to need a C2N cassette player. Watch this space. Well, that's it for this time. Um, we've opened the box, we've found the toys, and next time we're going to make it. <laughs> I can't wait. I've got a box here from TDF. Cut.